Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Yoshi's Island Modded. My name is Falco Punch 64 and in the last episode we took care of, well, World 2. And in this episode we're going to take care of World 3, hopefully. Hope you're having a wonderful night. It is 10.07pm on the 10th of January 2022. I know this is dating this episode terribly, but I figured that I'd just say that because I don't, I don't know why we're just kind of just chugging along last episode was just a little longer than i was expecting and um you know at least we got through it without too much you know technical peril at least we just ate a monkey J just just think about that yoshi ate a monkey whole and then shit him out as a monkey egg oh yeah this is the thing where they spit at you Somehow that would, did not register as a hit, but that did. Give me a little bastard. You can't even... Eggs don't kill them. I can't shoot for shit. It's like playing Counter-Strike with, with eggs. Egg strike. I'm not even trying to speed run this. I'm just, I'm just at the point with this particular series that it's just sort of like it's so. Don't, these worlds are so damn long that I don't want to spend like two hours on an episode. Little asshole, right at the end too. Honestly, I think Mario, I'll, I'll say it, I think Yoshi's Island is better than Mario World 1. I just, I tried playing Mario World 1 again recently and just, ugh. I don't know what it was, it's just I wasn't happy playing it. I, I just, I lost my love for that game, I guess. I don't know if it's because I played it so many times or because it's just, I don't know. I just have more love for the previous games, and this one over all those as well. I mean, I can go back to Mario 64, and I still love it. Maybe not as much as I did as a kid. I don't know about... Well... Maybe not as much for Mario 64. Maybe so. I tend to enjoy games that are challenging, but not a pain in the ass, basically. Now let's see this one is challenging without being a pain in the ass. And just like games like Final Fantasy VIII are just like no challenge at all. Like I, I just, I know what I'm doing basically the entire time without needing to even. That was really close to getting a poker up my ass. That wouldn't have been good at all. Unless you're into that kind of thing, I'm not. What's down here? Oh great, you. Alright, come on. Come on, Fido. Let's go. Where are we going? Thank you. Hopefully we won't see you again for the rest of the game. I used, to, I used to be terrified of that dog. I thought it was going to try to eat me in this game, but he's an ally. So. I used to think that dog was like an enemy. It's like, oh my god, what the hell is that? Ooh. That was... That was nonsense.
That was nonsense. That's exactly what that was. Mother Hubbard. That was... That reminded me of the Yogg's guest. <laughs> he's like, he's like, ooh, mother. And then the other guy said, Hubbard. <laughs> I mean, they swear it on there anyway, but it's like, he just stopped him from using it once. Mother Hubbard. Or Necroscope, I think he might have, Necroscope 86 has been gone for years. I think he said the F word like one time, ever. And it was during a, basically just reading a line from Fallout 3. And it was, a, it was, it was the most surreal thing ever hearing him say fuck. It really was, because like, I was so used to him saying flunker and funker and... All these other euphemisms because he had a daughter and like a young daughter and I guess didn't want to have him, her hearing him scream motherfucker constantly. Which, you know, I get it. I don't want to set a bad example. Don't want the kid to be going to preschool or going to mama's house saying fuck you mama and fuck you Goomba and all this other stuff, and then Mama's like, what have you been teaching her? Get you in trouble with the Mama. As they say, when my, if Mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. Shit! I just... I just... Just get a little distracted sometimes. I'm sure you couldn't put these spear guys in a game. Now, you probably get a letters about people being offended. It's always the white liberals that get offended too. That doesn't make any damn sense. Not even the people that are, are it's like they're being offended on someone's behalf. I'm not going to get into politics, but that is what's been going on a lot on Twitter. Get offended on someone else's behalf. I mean, if you think something's offensive to Indians, let Indians bitch about it. <laughs> if they're not bitching about it, I guess it's not that offensive. I really don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of flying through it because, yeah, that's just how I play games. I like to f try to run through stuff instead of taking my time and dawdling and really enjoying the road, smelling the roses, I guess you would say. That would be perfect for speed running, but I just don't have the patience to actually perfect the stuff. It does feel nice to get through games really quick, though. I, re I was reading online, they said Yoshi's Island is a two-hour game. I'm like, two hours? Like, by who? Trihex? Uh, I looked up, like, how long it took people... How long the Yoshi's Island, um... Well, Yoshi's Island 100% speed run was three hours. I don't know what the article guy got his numbers from, but it sure as hell ain't two. Get out of the way, monkey. Get out of the way. Get out of my goddamn way. I don't know why I just turned into Sean Connery. And that wasn't the way to go anyway. Sean Connery was a national treasure. Don't don't let Barbara Walters tell you any Was it Barbara Walters? Who's the one that was bitching at him in that one that one that one video I saw? What if she gives you a good slap back? I guess we're under something else. <laughs> Uh, Rip Connery. Rip Bob Saget. He died too. I know that's, uh, that's topical, ain't it? 
Bob Saget just died. We don't know from what yet. That was sad seeing that. I was just like, really? Out of, out of everyone, he, he was really, I mean, 65 is not old. Not death age, anyway. I mean, like, you don't expect someone to die until they're at least in their 70s, you know, or late 60s. I mean, then it's a little more understandable. But rip, a lot of a lot of people have passed away recently. Big names. Those kissy fish from frickin' Mario World. You just sunk my battleship. This is kind of neat. Holy slow down, Batman. No, no, no. Hate those kissy fish. I hate those kissy fish. No, I do not want to make out with you. I don't want to kiss a fish. My name is not Till Lindemann. I'm guessing the frog is the next boss if we're already seeing him as enemy. Come here, you bastard. I don't know why that crab didn't end up being a boss, because he's kind of scary looking. Like a giant crab. The giant frog, even though it is kind of disgusting, is really cool. That is a cool boss. Really, you mother f from the <laughs> Getting like Joe Pesci in, in Home Alone. Like, like, racka fracka, like when he starts doing the Yosemite Sam because he can't say the F word. Like, apparently when they first did it, like, a lot of Home Alone was, like, improvised and Pesci was cussing and stuff and the director's like yeah you can't say fuck on a on a kid's christmas movie and he's like he just he just turned into yosemite sam after that which i think is a great choice that's the best alternative that's to become yosemite sam if you gotta get mad and don't want to cuss And <laughs> just start yelling gibberish like he did. <laughs> now, I got, now I'm thinking about that, that drag. <laughs> that stupid thing. Um, Dad was bringing up. Dad the other day brought up uh, that uh, cartoon of Bugs Bunny, and um, it was a singing sword one. I think it was called Nighty Night Bugs. And. There was an episode where Yosemite Sam had a dragon because he was like the Black Knight and he had a dragon. Well, the dragon apparently got a cold because like he apparently let his quote unquote let his fire get low by not eating enough coal and it made him start sneezing fire. I know this is, sounds insane, but it's hilarious. It was hilarious. And like the sound of his sneeze was the most violent. <laughs> Just holy shit noise you'll ever hear in a cartoon just like that that sneeze was horrifying it was like he was screaming at you at the top of his lungs <laughs> but it sounded so damn funny oh uh, we're about to die up oh, almost gotta give it a second no but it was like the loudest at you <laughs> you've ever freaking heard and it's just like oh my god 
It's like if you sneeze like if you actually did sneeze that hard for real, your face would probably just fall off. I love Mel Blank. He was the best in the world. There is never gonna be a voice actor as great as Mel Blank was. The guy was just a damn genius, and how he could come up with that stuff is incredible. Just like all those stories that they can't, I just cannot, I, I can't understand how they just came up with just goofy shit like that. Like just Bugs Bunny and, and Yosemite Sam with him being like the Black Knight. And having a dragon that sneezes. I really want to actually hold on. Let me pull up this. I, I might get a copyright for this. I hope not, but I'm going to pull up the sound so you can at least hear the sound because it's so violent. Hold on. Bugs Bunny uh, Dragon. Listen to this. This is ridiculous. It's, it's so stupid. Just listen. <laughs> You're crazy, you get the draggle dragon. I warned you about letting your fire get low. It's so stupid. And Yosemite Sam starts feeding him coal with a shovel. Starts shoveling coal into the dragon's mouth. That is so stupid, but I, I've been laughing about that shit for like a solid three or four days. Just that sneezing noise and the dragon having to eat coal. And he. Hey, what's up, uh, Philip Snyder? How you doing, man? <laughs> I got caught off guard. Yeah, it's really cool, man. Let me actually turn this volume down just a touch so I don't have it feed back. Because I got this new condenser. Yeah, yeah, I'm on mines. Appreciate you following, man. All support, uh, all support is good support. I don't know, I don't know how to word that any better than that. We'll just have to go with that line. Everything helps. I think that's a better line. But we're on part three right now. Just in case you wanted to know, we're just on part three now of the Let's Play. And I just got distracted by telling a story about Bugs Bunny <laughs> and a sneeze off of a dragon sneezing on, um, the, well, uh, yeah, we can go with whatever you want. Uh, where I was talking about the, the dragon sneezing, uh, like with the Bugs Bunny cartoon and how violent the sneeze sounded and how funny it was when I heard it. Where Mel Blank sounded like he just screamed his lungs out saying that shoe and that noise just always cracked me up because I was like, God, if you actually sneeze like that for real, your fucking head would just pop off. Like, damn. Oh, God. I don't know where I get these random ideas from. This is actually one of my favorite boss fights, which is kind of disgusting and makes me kind of wonder what's wrong with me. Probably because it's just the most unique. Except for the, the what do you call it, the, uh, the crow on the moon or whatever he is, the raven on the moon. Well, I don't know how those, the, the, the thing would get in here to steal Mario if I did run out of stars. If I ran out of stars, I don't know how they would actually get Mario out of here. I'm guessing that stomach acid that is it's falling on us. God, how much indigestion do I got to give this frog?
You know we just came out of his ass, right? We had to, because we went in through his mouth and went down to his stomach and then we came out of his ass. Eating dinosaurs is bad for you. Eating babies is also bad. That is one of my favorite bosses. That's like one of the missions that I really... Oh no, I'm trying to think. Is, this, is the end of this one where we had to fight that stupid... Um, what do you call it? Piranha plant thing that just never was... I was never able to get past as a kid, but I eventually learned how to do it, but it's still a pain in the ass. I can't remember if this is this world or the next. Maybe it's not even either one. Maybe it's the later world. Maybe I'm just dreaming stuff up. That's what I hope. I know that's not, I know it's coming up sometime. Hopefully not in this part though. Well, I was about to say, damn, can I get through here or not? This game really loves the, this game really loves those flying things. These flying condoms, or wrappers or whatever they are. Got condoms. Bowser's used condoms. You little fucker, really? Why would a monkey have a bomb? Don't answer that. D don't answer that. That, that, that. That'll probably get you and me banned if you answer that question. We're talking about actual monkeys. Cartoon monkeys. Not some racist bullshit that someone's gonna say about that comment. <laughs> Just don't answer that question. <laughs> Act like I didn't say anything. It still is a good question. Why the hell would a monkey have a bomb? Ah, you mother flunker. You son of a cow fart. Your sister's ass. <laughs> As my ex-boss used to say, <laughs> he would just say, ah, oh, your sister's ass. Look. Your father's nutsack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mother Trying not to do it. I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to stay. Well, I, I don't. I don't know why I'm trying to stay clean, but. I mean, good lord. The, the biggest gaming YouTuber Jack Septica and every other word that comes out of his mouth is fuck. I imagine the people, anyone that's watching this show or any of my shows is an adult anyway because they play such old stuff that hell I play games older than any minor at this point. Almost all my games that I play are at least 20 years old. Except for Oblivion, that's 2006. It's be 20 soon. Four, four more years, I'll be 20 years old. This game is probably near 30. It's still as pretty as the day it came out. Yeah, that's not totally annoying. These things are squeaking. 
What in the f lump and f We are a good Christian channel. We don't say fuck. We're not allowed to say fuck on this show. I know that's fucked up, but, you know, we can't say fuck. Can't say shit either. Or hell, or damn, or mother f all that other, all these other lovely pejorative words. I don't know if that's the right word, pejorative, for... Um... Uh, look. You keep on... Keep on coming over here and messing with me, that's what's gonna happen. Where's... Yeah, come on. You little... Little turd! Uh, how do I get up there? This is another frickin' maze. Uh, oh, okay. Makes sense. Look, take your spines and go somewhere else. Go go do your your Kirby power somewhere else, man. We've already done Kirby Superstar though. Which was probably my favorite Let's Play so far. This one's pretty good too. I mean maybe not as good as the Kirby one, but I think it's been pretty good so far. It's been it's been fun playing this and I think I've covered a little bit of ground commentary wise, getting a little better at it, trying to anyway. Even if I don't talk the entire time and I don't know, sometimes I think that that's a little too overboard with the old games where people never shut the fuck up the entire time. Maybe that's what people want. I don't know what they want. I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. I enjoy doing this. This is what I want to do as a hobby, not a job, obviously, because I have a job. Between the books and doing writing, do my writing and also my tech shop, this is just my chill out project. This is my chill out and have fun project. Does coins really matter at all in this? I guess so. I guess we got a one life out of that. No, but there's a guy on, um, I don't know how many people are watching me right now. I have no idea because I don't have the counter on screen. Uh, I don't really care either, necessarily. I mean, it would be nice if we had a few, but that's it's whatever. If this is zero right now, I don't mind. But there's a guy on there saying, well, if you don't have at least five viewers, what's the point? I'm like, well, I mean, you know, if you don't enjoy streaming or don't enjoy doing Let's Plays or whatever, why are you doing it? And, and I basically told him, like, dude, this is the way I see it. It's like, if you're going to play a game, let's say GTA 5. You know, you love GTA 5 and it's just, that's your game. You know, like, out of all the games, that's your particular game that you love playing. So you're like, okay, I love GTA 5. I do too, of course. Everyone does. So it's like, okay, so you want to play GTA 5. Why not record it? You know, because if you have a good enough computer, it doesn't take any effort to record you playing GTA 5. Take it a step further. There's an extra button that's right above a record on OBS that says start streaming. So if you're going to be playing GTA 5 and you're going to record it because you might want to like there's something that you might want to like remember or just like whatever you want to do with it like some epic moment that you want to remember 
Why not? Um, yeah, let's see, where did I go? You know, think of it that way that you're just, you, that you're not trying to do this as a job, that you're going to be playing the game anyway, so you might as well just do it live. And if someone wants to watch, wonderful, and if no one cares, okay, you're going to play the game anyway. It's sort of like if someone said, I'm going to learn guitar so I can join KISS, you know? Yeah, that's wonderful. You want to join KISS? That's great. You know, well, whoever. I don't know who the big band is right now. But listen to a lot of KISS. But anyway, say, like, uh, that's, you know, if the only reason you're going to learn how to play guitar is so you can join a band and get famous, then... Do you really enjoy playing guitar? Because then once you become famous, you have to play guitar. Like, that becomes your job. But if you weren't going to do it anyway, unless you got famous, maybe you don't enjoy that activity. Maybe, you know, you'll be miserable as hell when you do get that 50 followers and now you have to stream to make ends meet. You know what I mean? I see it that way. If you, unless you already enjoy this activity that you're going to do and, and you're completely happy doing it for free with absolutely no, you know, plans of being famous, then don't do it. I mean, I play guitar because I like playing guitar. I enjoy, you know, having guitars and watching guitar re related content and you know modding guitars and just you know getting different sounds and stuff i enjoy that that's it's a hobby i know i'm never gonna join kiss i'm not well, one i mean they're already retired they're retiring now but beyond that you know i'm not in shape enough to be in that band i'm not Somebody that would want to be on the road that much or have to put on makeup every damn day and I, I would not enjoy that. I think that would be annoying. I mean, even though the paycheck would be pretty awesome. Where the hell is this key at? I'm gonna get a little irritated here. Where's this damn key at that I need to get out of this level? That's the point. Stephen King said it best. He said um, that he would write for free if he couldn't do it for money, but he loves doing it for money. And that's the advice I gave to authors because most likely you're not going to be able to do it for money. And it's the same way with streaming. It's the same way with anything that's not some shitty menial um, job or something you can get out of college or whatever. All, all the jobs that, you know, all the jobs that start as hobbies are damn near impossible to monetize. And if you are able to monetize it, that's wonderful, and and I, I'm happy for you, but at the same time, it changed the dynamic of that thing, where it's not really as fun as it used to be, because when it, it used to just be something you did on the side or whatever, and now it's like you have to worry about numbers, and growth, and managing drama, and bullshit that you gotta deal with people, and collaborations, and you know, people. It's like, you know, a lot of people wish they could just go back to playing, doing what I did right here, playing in front of nobody. I'm, I'm, maybe someone's watching, I don't know. How the fuck do I get out of here? I don't want to waste the rest of this episode 
for the rest of my night trying to figure out how to get hell to get out of this shit. Alright. That's not it. What level are we on? I don't know what level we're on. Oh no, we're lost right now. We're 35 minutes into an episode. I've kind of gone in circles a hundred times now. I mean, luckily we're not on a timer, but maybe this, it's, I, I have to be missing something somewhere. Something probably really obvious. I'm going to guess this with this. I hate to make this a two-parter for this world, but that's what might end up happening. Who the hell is texting me this time of night? What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what... Okay. How long have I been live? Okay. I will see you in the next part um, after I figure out what the hell I'm doing. So I'll see you then. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you then.